This is vlog 472. Doing a little bit of workout this morning. Get the blood flowing. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty pumped. Last couple of days, haven't been feeling all that great. But today I'm rocking. Kathy already finished her workout. She's a lot faster than I am. I don't know what the deal is. When you treat me like you do It's a deal breaker, babe When you treat me like you do Jalapeno sauce. Kathy's famous jalapeno sauce. Still working on the Wacky States book. It's about 50 pages, kid's book, uh, all kinds of really cool things about the states, but it's pretty elaborate. So there's a lot to each illustration and there's 50 illustrations. Now I did a, a version of this book before, but it was too small. It, it, there was too many things about it that, that weren't working for me. To, I decided to redesign the entire book, make it much larger and make it much more fun for kids. But on top of that, I'm doing a coloring book, which is here. book is not about the states but it's 20 illustrations of different really cool cars to which kids can color in so both of these books are going to be coming out around around the same time for Christmas if all goes well within two weeks been working all day getting some stuff done it's time for us to kind of get out uh, it's really a nice day out. We're gonna poke around town a little bit. We might even go for a little bit of a hike. You have no idea? I think we're in Coral Canyon. Oh, it says it right there. Yeah. Closed to public entry. You got great legs. Really? Yep. This is Corral Canyon. It's pretty far up here. Nice and quiet. There's only a couple cars back there. That's pretty much it. But the views are spectacular. Check it out. really got to get out more. It is so quiet up here. You forget how peaceful peace and quiet is. It's incredible.
really sure what this is, but it kind of looks like a swimming pool. Or at least a water source of some kind. But people have come up and graffitied all over it. Yeah. This is a little cave I was in with Wes and Ken the last time. Oh. Come on in. Sometimes you gotta go just a little further and you get a view like this. Pretty nice. Kathy's climbing up to an arch. She wants to get in it, even though it's a straight drop down the other side. To certain, certain, you know, ankle breaking maybe. You might sprain something. It's like five feet. Or break your head. This is the highest point. This is like nature's lounge chair. This is actually really comfortable. And I'm in this beautiful arch. And I'm looking out at this view. Look, check out this view. Kathy's checking our hike stats, see how far we've gone. A mile. Must have gone a mile at least. Unless we don't have power. Yeah. And then once we get it, we'll update. Yeah. By the time we get back, it'll be a couple miles. Not a big deal. The last thing we'd expect to find up here is what's left of a car. And this is the rear bumper. I don't know how you'd get a car up here. There's, I'm going out the door. That's the seat. Look at that. Oh my god. Does the door still work? Oh, you gotta come down here. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but maybe it's a 73, 74 Pontiac Grand Am. Not in great shape. I think we can dig it out. You can. You go. Turn it into a SEMA car. There you go. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we just found Jimmy Hoffa's long lost car. Pontiac Grand Am. Yeah. Not sure he's in there, but I'm not going to go find out. We think we know what happened to that car. We're guessing. It was a stunt car used in a very famous movie, and they dropped it from a helicopter. And they just left it. And they just kind of left it. Because there's no way to drive up here. No, no we're, we're going way. the right way. Yeah, we are. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So the scenario is, just just uh -huh. to just to recap, it's a Jimmy Hoffa movie where he lo loses his car. It gets taken away in a helicopter and dropped up I here. I think it's a James Bond movie. James Bond, Jimmy Hoffa, same thing. 
That was freaking awesome. Beautiful. We're going to do that again. I spotted something. Okay. The good stuff. That's even better. <laughs> Nicely done. Sneaky BMWs trying to hide. Don't think so. Okay, I don't know what is going on, but good things are afoot. There's a lot of kind of moving. There's, there's some excitement. There's some just cool stuff happening. Still don't have 100% confirmation that I'm going to see me yet, but literally up until the last day, uh, which is Sunday, I, I'm supposed to be out there on Monday, uh, anything goes. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that's going on here uh, that are balls in the air. I gotta see where those land before I decide, and then, and then we'll kind of make that decision as we get a little bit closer. But I am fielding uh, a lot of questions about one thing in particular, and that is that I haven't mentioned this for quite a long time, and that is the, the Packard that we got from the Automobile Driving Museum. We were to be building that, preparing that for SEMA this year. Uh, it turns out that it, too many, like I said, too many balls in the air, too many things going on. It came to the, to the final decision that uh, it, it's not something that we could achieve within this time frame for this particular SEMA. Whether it's appropriate for next SEMA or not, where the car is still in the shop, you know, it's down with Ken. We decided just to kind of shelve that for right now. There's too many things going on, as I said, so we're just kind of moving forward and sometimes you just kind of get those. Okay, so I hope that kind of puts that to rest a little bit, but also we have some very interesting things going on. Uh, some great stuff came out of the Art Center Car Classic. I got to hang out with Henrik and his wife, Henrik Fisker, and all those guys, and there's potentially some interesting things going on there that we can do together. I also have several companies that are that want to send me stuff, so that's going to be interesting. We got everything from phones to um, to sunglasses to you know some different things. So if you have a company and you sell a an interesting product, you can send it to me. We'll take a look at it. We'll show it to the audience. We might even do a giveaway or something like that. There's lots of great stuff out there, but you know keep in mind this is automotive. It's beach life, sunglasses make sense. There's certain things that maybe don't make sense, like underwear. I have plenty of that. Super cool to be able to see that that car parked up in in you know in the middle of nowhere. There's no way that that car could have driven up there. That's the most interesting thing about it. It's a mystery. Whoa, this is Vlog472, and I might be going to Vegas, might be going to SEMA. Don't know yet. You're gonna find out within the next few days. Anything goes.